to uh, the raffle here for consideration to be a new member of our roster. Welcome to the bear pile. Seven Falls Maya. Welcome to the pile. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I appreciate that very much. Let me go ahead and take care of a few issues here while we're waiting for that. So, welcome to the bear bamboozled pile. fish. Welcome to the pile as well. Thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you for the love, guys. I appreciate it very, very much. What are we going to do this week? We have got no boss fights available, it doesn't seem. Welcome back. Mana Janai! 13 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome on back in. I could certainly consider a veteran dungeon here. We we, we need to uh, work on this crew quite a bit. Everybody, of course, is at rank 3. Have not given them any chance to uh, upgrade quite yet. Can't kill the Baron yet. No, no, no. We're going to need a decent squad for that, at least. That's a tough fight. Hey, Velasco. Savvy Miss Spelunky Saturday. Curse that nap. Hey, sometimes you need a nap, man. That's no that's no problem. All right, let's go ahead and draw those names here. I think we've given ourselves enough time. First winner for the newest member of the roster is going to be Palin. Welcome on in, Palin. You're going to be our plague doctor. Congratulations. Second winner for the draw is... Da -da 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 -da, Kit Spindler. Kit Spindler, congratulations. Got to be our brand new Vestal. And finally, for our leper, our third name is going to be da -da 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 Arugula1234. Bam. Arugula. Welcome to the best. Fuji, the Crusader. Hopefully, we find a Crusader for you to use, my friend. Welcome on into the pile, all the same. Thank you very much for your subscription. Oh, boy. All right. Looking good, man. Let's go ahead and set up a veteran level dungeon here. I'd love to get the Bright Tambourine, by the way. That's Welcome like a primary objective for sure, is being able to get this uh, stress relief trinket. Fruit Sorbet! That sounds like a hilarious Japanese game, sh game show. Fruit Sorbet! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Oh, Long Johnson! We got a good old fashioned sub train going on. God damn. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription, Old Long Johnson. Welcome on in. It is an amazing trinket, yeah, so I think it's absolutely worth pursuing. Oh, Don Piano. Oh, Long Johnson. Ling Lord. Freedom with the 1,000 bits. Thank you, Ling Lord, so, so much for the biddies, buddy. I appreciate that very much. Let's set up this team, shall we? Goodness. Bits for crits. Let's go. Going into the ruins, obviously a Plague Doctor seems like a worthwhile submission into the roster. And then going along those same lines, I'd say an Abomination certainly makes sense. Uh, Man-at-Arms could be worthwhile. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Uh, but I think we maybe need some more straight-up damage, so let's go ahead and throw a Crusader up there in the mix up front. And then to rock the uh, coordination with the Plague Doctor, I suppose a Vestal makes a little bit of sense. Not to mention the fact that this Plague Doctor is scientific, so it, it's actually a little bit more beneficial to us to have the Occultist in this team. The Infernal Contraption! Another subscription. Welcome on into the pile. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Dark Lord Steve! Just want to say I wish to name our Twitch baby happiness. Because that's what's been inside me for the past nine months. Oh, also a little weird, but... <laughs> thank you, Dark Lord Steve. I appreciate it very much. That is uh, very kind. Thank you. Thank you for the support, buddy. All right. Uh, let's see if we can maybe upgrade the blacksmith here. It might actually be worthwhile to trade in busts or something to get these last eight deeds for armor smithing. Because I know I can take these guys here and get those rank ups, but A, that's going to be expensive as shit, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to afford that many of them. And then B, it's probably more worthwhile to get the armor smithing upgrades for these guys instead of getting the weapons. So, let's go ahead and sell these two health stone duplicates. I think I'll knock off a few more of these trinkets down here that I don't ever use, like the move charm I'm pretty damn sure is not going to be all that helpful. And then the caution cloak is... Eh, it's interesting, but not going to be kept. Uh, apparently you can't sell this. Must be like a quest unique item or something like that. Uh, and then... Oh, I wonder if you need to like bring this and then it'll interact with that surprise in some way. That'd be cool. Anyway, yeah. Maybe I'm not actually going to go for an upgrade here just yet. I think I'll take the damage upgrade for the Crusader. And then maybe even the one for him as well. Because that's a speed boost too. Not to mention the crit bonus. Um, oh, That's a big boost for her. But I'm obviously not going to be using Incision here. I'll switch that off for Noxious Blast. Let me look into the guild as well. And see if there's actually more priorities we need to be focused on here. 
Like his heal, for example, even though that adds more bleed, actually that might not even be worth it, so let's just not worry about that just yet. Uh, in fact, none of his really seem like a high priority. This is good considering where we're going. The stunning blow, I don't even know if I'm actually going to be using that all that much. With the Plague Doctor, it might not be a high priority. Maybe the AoE is more helpful. But do we have his stunning crest, actually? I think, no, we've got his damage crest. Okay, so we definitely want to use that then. And uh, maybe even give him a sun ring. Oh, or dismiss his head, obviously, is also a good choice. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm just going to set, set him up for that right away. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's not give that to him. Let's give that to the guy who can relieve his own stress. Uh, the abomination. I think mean, that's going to be a lot more helpful. And then the sun ring could be fine on the crusader. Hmm. Well, I guess let's look at the uh, guild again first before I get ahead of myself with the trinkets here, I guess. Uh, I think I will go ahead and do that. I'll take this slight upgrade to the protection. Well, for 600 gold, is that worth it? I think I'd m much rather have this one. And even though his healing skills are going to be diminished a little bit, obviously that stress heal is still nice. And I don't think that healing skill affects the stress heal, so it's not as big of a deal anyway. All right, so good. That works out. Abomination has probably potential to upgrade. Oh, no, just kidding. We've already spent a shitload of money on him, apparently. So that's good. That's not worth it. Or is it? The speed boosts, again, it just seems like it's a, a pretty high priority. But I think I'm just going to make do with this squad with what we've got right now and see how well we can fare. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and resort these and, as I mentioned, give Dismiss's head to the Abomination. And I suppose this is also a pretty damn good option for him so he can use his manacles to full effect. The Ancestor's Candle is not actually being used here, so I suppose I'll go ahead and toss that on to the uh, Crusader. Plague Doctor, obviously I'd love to give her Bloody Herb, but going into the Ruins, it's not nearly as useful. So, I might focus on more defensive items for her. Maybe even something to increase her bl uh, Blight Chance if we've got the option. Camouflage Cloak would be okay, too. Bloodthirst Ring is a decent choice here for her as well. Uh, let's come back to her in a second here. Occultist. Hmm. Sun Ring? He's got a decent amount of damage he can put out with the Eldritch Blasts. Hmm. Ooh, he's a Ruins Adventurer, too. That's nice. Let's see. How about just a bloodied fetish, then maybe just go a little bit more defensive with these two. I don't want to lower his speed if I can avoid it, so let's just have him add more dodge. And then I might as well use the sun ring, I suppose. It's not really all that helpful, but better than most of the other stuff we've got. Recovery charm might be nice, considering we have the occultist. You know what? I'll go ahead and use that. It's not likely that we'll ever have many opportunities in the future to use this. And then with that being the case, I certainly think it makes sense to trade off this Crusader's Swordsman's Crest for the sun ring. It's more stress, but it's more accuracy for him, and seems like the better choice. And he's going to be able to stress heal himself a, a bit at least, so I think we'll be okay here. Fragile. How about just a bloody fetish? How about that? That'll take care of business here for us. Absolutely. And uh, maybe trade off the vulnerability hex for the weakening curse this time, because we might run into a few things with protection here, and I'd, I'd like to at least have an option for ways to deal with it. So we'll make that trade off there. That'll be probably enough money for us to provision properly for this mission and that's gonna pretty much put us at zero, unfortunately. Need to have torches, of course, given the uh, options that we've chosen for equipment. Need a couple of keys to get us through this and then that is pretty much gonna do it, I think, shit. Down to five gold. I'll take the Aegis scale, and uh, I doubt I'll need blood, but I'll... Nah, I don't think I want to bring a couple, actually. I think it'll be a waste. The Anti-Venom, obviously, is not necessary, but we have the Plate Doctor bringing that for free. I think this is... Oh, we don't have a shovel shit. Okay, so we gotta sell that, sell that, and sell that for... Let's see, let's see, let's do... Let's get rid of the herb for two shovels. And then maybe a uh, key as well, or maybe like a... I don't need the bandages, actually. I don't need bandages. I have a Plague Doctor. We're going to be good to go there. I'll bring another torch because of that. I'll bring two torches. Is that good? I think this is good. I think this works. I'm rich! Filthy rich! Actually flat broke. Yeah, down to 50 gold, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Worst case scenario, I sell everything and we'll reset. There is power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. Waruji Warcry! 
Bits for bear. Brutalize them good, sir. We need the bits this time. Absolutely. We need the bits for the crits, please, if you have them to spare. It would certainly be Wealth welcome. Well, there's some money. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Hey, Barry, how would you rate the threat level of the thing from the stars, maybe compared to the other wandering bosses? Uh, less threatening than the Fnatic, for sure. I think the Fnatic has an edge on him. I've not really been too worried about the thing from the stars fight. It adds tons of stress, obviously, and that, uh, that introduces uh, difficulty to most runs, but for the most part, it just... It's a pretty standard boss fight. Some reward for a task well performed. Pretty easy to control those crystals, easy spawns. It's not too frequent, so you're not having to get overwhelmed by that or anything. I don't think it's too bad. All right, so we have boosted damage and what is this? Crit chance from the manacles, which 16% is actually pretty damn good for this skill. Let's give the Crusader the option to one-shot this gargoyle. Northern Leo! Welcome back to the pile, Northern Leo. So good to see you again. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime subscription. I appreciate that, pal. Yikes. Oh, did I want to put on her... I think I might have wanted to equip her double stun. Also, obviously, want to prevent that from happening whenever possible. One shot. Damn it. Okay. Going to attempt to use um, his protection move for the torchlight as well, obviously. It's going to be pretty damn helpful. And maybe pull her forward? Allow the Crusader to finish her off, ideally? There we go. I don't even know if they can actually do much from back there besides Lash of the Tail. Which is, I know, clearly bad if it does the things it's supposed to do, but... Probably not nearly as bad as the Flurry of Claws. Not to mention they can't really, like, stun lock us, stun lock us the way we can stun lock them. They don't have a ton of blight resistance, so that's probably good. The, ground the crit blight, even better. One down and one soon to go. I think I'll maybe take a self-heal on him, but he doesn't have any stress yet, so that might not be necessary. Oh, God. Do, do, do. No bandages. That shuffle is really unfortunate, actually. I just realized having the Crusader there is going to limit us severely with his options. Five damage would do it, but it's probably not likely. I think a weakening curse is fine here. A couple of damage points for him. The Crusader will probably be able to finish him off and then just keep self-healing, I guess. Thought the thing from the stars being quite non-threatening myself, but especially lately I've had some trouble against him because he spammed his blight move and my dude's refused actions due to afflictions. Oh yeah, see that can certainly get into dangerous territory. Chat has become horrifying, by the way. What in the fuck? <laughs> Just a swarm of bear W and bear one, two, three, four. Thank you to the tier twos for mixing it up. This is appropriately terrifying, I suppose. Anybody who's just joining this chat for the first time is going to be introduced to the proper atmosphere, I suppose. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. He's already dead. I don't really have to heal, but I think it's probably my best bet with him anyway. Nice! My god, the existential horror. I have no Holy Lance, so let's work on this, I guess. Does give me some stress, or uh, some torchlight anyway. There goes that bleed, finally, and kablooey. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. That's better. Please stop stressing us out. And that's fine, thanks. About goddamn time. Did something convenient. Oh my god, well he was dead anyway, I guess. I probably should have healed him. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Oh, well. Hey, Bear, I played the Endless Harvest Quest today. Managed to buy myself a solid 77 kills. Not bad for your first try, yeah. Not bad at all. I'm impressed. Anybody else tried the uh, Endless Mode? What scores have you guys been putting up so far? Don't say 69. I'll know you're fucking with me. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. All right, one bandage will do. Chat filled with 69. God damn it. God damn it. Can't just get one. Oh, what am I doing? Whoops, nope, don't do that. Uh-uh. 
nearly just tossed the fucking candle out. I did not want to do that, game. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, he's going to be fine. We'll use that torch. Good to go. Okay, okay. First attempt for me was Even 57 the before the stress got too high. That's pretty good. Bent on preventing passage. I know I brought that on myself. Yeah, I really need to think before I talk. Yep. Soul tech! Bear, if you beat this dungeon, I will consume a species for you as bit for crits. A fortune waiting to be spent. I didn't 100% follow your logic there, but hell yeah, thank you. The others are gone. They were victims of a malevolent transformation. Their scales had rotted to soft, vulnerable flesh, slowly suffocating without gills. The worst was their eyes, closed set and forced to squint through fleshy slits. I shudder recalling the horrific and unclean warmth of their blood as I rinsed my talons. May death grant them soft mercy. Uh, it's probably not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it. Hey, it was a good idea after all. Jute tapestry, cool. Let's dump this. Take that. Use the holy water. Bam. And goodbye. There we go. Welcome to the bear pile. Mayo maniac. Welcome into the bear pile. Bear hugs, please, from the newest member. Thank you very much for the support. With Twitch Prime and Seductive Lava. To the bear pile. No, that's not what you <laughs> Seductive Lamia. I had my own ideas about that, apparently. Welcome to the bear pile, Seductive Lamia. Thank you for the support. Sexy, sexy llama. How are they doing this? Uh, one shot? Yeah, there we go. Seductive labia. Yeah, that's a little weird. Hey, Dovsky, how you doing? Hey, teens! Curious about llamas? You're not alone. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. A shuffle's probably smart. God damn, they are dodging everything! What the hell? What the shit? Thank you! There we go. Good luck of the draw for once, and let's try to nail this stun, I guess. There we go. Finally got one. Finally lucky. And we'll try to heal as best we can here. I don't know who Bofa is, Pop-Tart Ninja. So, I guess the answer to that is no. He needs one damage. Bofa D's nuts! Ow! Victory. Oh, you got me! Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. <laughs> Oh, just lob it over the plate and smack a dinger home, why don't you? That's why I subbed. <laughs> That's the value I get out of this place. Dave in real life! Hey, yeah! Hell yeah, shout out to BetterHelp, I love that. Exclamation point help in chat. It's my new sponsor, BetterHelp. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. If you've ever been curious about online counseling or therapy, I ha highly, highly recommend better help it's a service I've been using myself and I've been getting a lot of value out of it's very very nice very helpful okay one relic we've done it uh, we need to dump off something already though I guess you know what there you go not worth having the inventory space or not having the inventory space I mean oh timely too okay we might actually prevent the thirst here Stun is easy on one of these boys. Hmm. Yeah, it's still probably my best play. Oh, I didn't shuffle up my party. That was dumb. Oh my god! Mayo Maniac! Eradicated. Another 500 bits from Mayo Maniac. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. There it is. What I fucking tell you. 
What's your best record for Endless Harvest? It would be the 146 that I put up during the charity event. I haven't been back to it since, though, so I'm hoping to get much, much better than that once we uh, get to that point in the save file, of course. So, still would like a disorienting blast here, but that's obviously not the best bet. God damn, the resistances! That might be it. Ooh, man, we've gotten lucky for the curse so far. I don't think I got anybody killed during the charity event, Gamecock Gamer, so I'm pretty sure you survived. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. You're good, man. He's not getting stunned, so let's hope for a crit. Or that. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That will also work. You hate the Crimson Court enemies? They're tough. Suitably tough. Certainly makes sense that they are the way they are. That's not gonna blight. No way. Not no way, not no how. And I don't need to heal with him, so... Do that. A little stress heal for sure, though. I've not been using Bulwark at all, despite my claim that I would. J-Rods! Welcome to the pile, my friend. Thanks for something with Twitch Prime. Bear hugs, please. Get him cozy. A second tapestry! Holy shit! It's Tapestry Tuesday! But it's Saturday, Bear. Shut up! It's Tapestry Tuesday. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing bad. Uh, but this will work. Well struck. Ooh, that'll work. Tapestry Saturday. There we go. Yeah, we got something. We're close. And boom. Mm, of course. No demon spaghetti kills for us today. Nice dodge. Good to hear, J-Rod. Yeah, glad to be a companion for you. 120, uh... Let's do this. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. <laughs> In awe of the size of that lad. Look at this absolute unit. Big boy. Big papa. Quarrel! No! Oh! Ears. Ow! Blurred vision. The end approaches. Try it again. There we go. That's how we do it. And uh stress heal, maybe I could probably get away with it. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Crit! <laughs> she has a recovery charm! Come on! Help me out a little! Perfect heal. Flawless. Ooh, there we go. A death by inches. Yeah, at least the bleed was resisted. We get a little bit of a silver lining there, right? Okay. Extremely unlikely, but I'm going to go for the manacles here. All right. Fine by me. Hey, there we go. Stacking that damage over time on this sucker. Okay. So he's dead next turn. Dodge? Yikes! Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Stunder Plague Doctor, probably not that big of a deal. Try that again. That's a little better. That's acceptable. There we go. The victory. Perhaps the turning point. Cool. Don't need that. Off we go. Obviously gotta go to this room though. It's fine. I am loving the bloodthirst ring so far. It has been carrying me. That's terrible. Okay. Torch here for sure. Oof. It's not been easy, but we've managed so far for sure. Haven't really managed to, or uh, haven't really needed to transform all that much either. It was really just the one fight. Stress is still looking okay. I'm definitely gonna do this. Hope for the crits. Go for the plate grenade again. I don't think I really wanna 
switch skills either. I'm pretty sure I'm happy with what I've got. Let's go ahead and bulwark. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. All right. Not lucky with the dodge there, but I think from this point forward, the Crusader's just going to stress heal himself and let the damage over time tick from the Abomination and the Plague Doctor deal the damage. Because he's just going to bump in the night the entire time. He'll probably just do some shield walls and maybe stun him, which will be unfortunate, but that's just the risk I'm going to have to take. That's perfect. That's literally the perfect option for him to pick. Thank you. And now, I could probably heal, actually. I don't really necessarily need to rush this, so let's do it. Why is the Bloodthirst Ring good? It prevents people, or it prevents your uh, companion from eating food. Minus 100% food consumed, and it does lower their healing received, but it's the best trade-off in the world in the early game, in my opinion. Totally worth it. I right, got the Blight, at least. Uh, let's try a stun, I suppose. To try to prevent the shield wall, or not the shield wall, the dead weight. No crit. Alright, that's fine. And again, as I mentioned, just stress heal and we're good to go. He's already dead. I think I will attempt to uh, heal one more time. With everybody. Because uh, I don't think I'll get cheese penalized for that. Cheese, cheeseized? There's something in there somewhere. He resisted the goddamn blight. How? Chinalized. Yeah, that's probably the closest we'll get. Vegas dead. The cultist crit heal on DD hero did no full no bleed. Buy now. Only 111 bits and don't get your money guaranteed. What a deal. How can you afford to pass this up? And yeah, we'll do that. He's not going to die, so I will have to do something, and hopefully, as is happening right now, the occultist will be able to act last. Hooray! Fantastic. We'll take all that. Success so clearly in view. Yay! Or is it merely a trick of the light? Boo! I can't take it. Um, I don't want the bus. I already have too many buses right now. All right, well... Let's see, we are out of inventory space, which is the primary argument for taking the campfire early here. However, we all are just gonna have to dump off some food anyway if we do that. It's two slots though, which is all we actually need for this dungeon. Antimatter dynamite! Y'all suck at puns. Do better! Can't just be calling them out and then not throwing a pun our way. I'll call you out, Antimatter Dynamite. Thanks for the reset though, I appreciate it. Always happy for an extra shovel. Always happy for two extra shovels, obviously. Just do better, lol, forehead. Ah, uh, let's see here. I can't de-stealth. I gotta, gotta do that. Gotta do that. Weakening Curse is probably pretty good. And can I stress heal? Can I afford to do that here? We're already four on three. My family name is Bear, so I live for the puns. Parents got bear themed gifts for their wedding. That. I, I immediately wanted to say that's great, but then I thought about it and I was like, how long would that be great for? I suppose you just have to make it be great for your entire life because it's never going to stop if your name is Bear. People are going to get you bear stuff. I think that's just a guarantee. A guarantee, if you will. See, we're fine at puns, antimatter. I think we're doing okay. There's a picture on the Indians whose last name is Bieber. Now, has that name been sullied for all of mankind for the, inter for the entirety of our existence? I think it's still okay. It's not like an Adolf. I think you can still be named Bieber and have a rich, successful, and culturally invigorated life. Managing to do pretty well in this fight, actually. That was an excellent pun. I called out chat, not you. Okay, fair enough. At least I'm doing well. That's all I care about. <laughs> 
<laughs> Adolf <laughs> Bieber. Yeah, he. <laughs> I think that guy would have some fucking problems in, in whatever field he chose to participate in. <laughs> is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. At the risk of being unmodded, I actually rather enjoy some of his newer stuff. Bieber? Oh, dude! No, hold on. You you have solidified your mod position because I am I am pro Bieber's music. Honestly, I am. Not a lot of it. Like, I don't listen to it, but he's a good singer, is what I mean to say. I have no qualm with Bieber as a singer. He's talented. He's really good. No crit. Nice. You know when chat just goes completely dead quiet after an opinion like that, that everybody agrees with me, right? That's what that means. <laughs> Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That's a shared opinion here in the bear pile, absolutely. Everybody's a fan of Bieber here. Of course. Crickets, you know. We believe you. Nice. See? Chad's fine at puns. Rhinoceritis is doing fine. Although that does sound like a disease. That's what draws the viewers. Saying you like Bieber. Yeah, that's how you get popular on Twitch. <laughs> uh, yeah. A singular strike. I have a friend who dislikes any music with lyrics in it. I think you should have one less friend. As a Canadian, I need to support Bieber, but I'm not a fan. At least you have that... That national allegiance, right? At least you got your priorities straight there. Let's do this. It lowers your protection, though. I wanted it. Come on. Damn it. Nice! <laughs> National pride, lol. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. I don't personally care for his type of music. I'll, I'll admit that Bieber has come leaps and bounds from where he was now that he has gotten older. That's the thing, too. I try to give the poor guy a little bit of credit because everybody was watching his every fucking move when he was 18. You know how fucking dumb I was when I was 18? I don't want anybody judging me for that shit. Precision and power. I think we're all pretty fucking stupid when we're 18. Do 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 do. Oh look, he's dead. Terrific. We'll transform down. To be fair, people can still be dumb when they're 25, so kudos to him for not being as dumb when he's 20 whatever the fuck now he is, right? Their cursed champion falls. I'm a prime example. Hey now, you're not dumb. You're here. You made a good choice. Alright, there we go. We have a quest location there as well. I don't really need to go this way, but I suppose I've committed at this point. I'm 18. Come on, bear. I mean, odds are you're pretty dumb, Dragon Slayer. I'm not gonna assume anything. But as I said to the other person, you made a pretty damn good choice by showing up here. Struck. A blazing star is born. <laughs> I don't mean to hate on you. <laughs> I'm just goofing. I started out by being self-deprecating, so you know that I'm not being mean, right? <laughs> uh, I don't think I need this. What, do I need to dump anything? Yeah, I don't think so. We've got, like, all the right inventory stuff, even though the Onyx is maybe worth considering. Yeah, we're good. Hey, look at that. I'm 28 and still dumb as shit, so, like, I'm riding the coaster right there with you. We're all... We're all trying to get better. Everyone who is 18 is a moron. Bear 2018. <laughs> That's fitting, isn't it? Okay, it might be time to camp out here. I think so. Yeah, let's do it. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Please, showing up to this stream shows they have no taste whatsoever, you monster. My feelings. Ouch. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. And, uh... 
let's see. I could probably do this too, actually. And just go ahead and give him an encourage. That works out. Cool. No prevent, but I'm fine with that. Yay, we did it. Me and B23 am super smarter than chat things. Me am good Twitch streamer. Me speak words good. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. I'm 12, smiley face. Who's the youngest in chat? That's a creepy question. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to know it. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't ask that. FBI, go away. Don't, no, nope, we're good. I don't need to know. <laughs> this is in emote only now. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> we gotta cover our, cover our asses for a second. Devastating blow. Hey, let's change the subject. Don't you guys love cheese? Welcome to the bear pile. Rhinoceritis! Welcome on into the pile, my friend. Thanks for someone with Twitch Prime bear hugs, please. That'll get us changed over on a dime, won't it? Cheese is dope. Cheese is good. Cheese is really good. Too good, actually. I'll just get those little triangles of cheese. I don't even know what kind they are because I'm not cultured, but... Get Brits in those things? Mmm! It's only like 40 calories. It's, it's fucking great. It's fucking wonderful. I'm lactose intolerant and my wife hates that I love cheese. I probably would too if I was your wife. If I was trying desperately to get you to not get yourself sick by eating it. But you couldn't resist because it tasted too good. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. It's good for your teeth, really? Hold on, that's that's very new information. Is cheese good for your teeth? Also, someone said cheese cuts my mouth. How in the world does that happen? It's got calcium, yeah, oh yeah, okay, I guess that's true. Cheese is good for your soul, Bear. That just means that it's unhealthy. Anything, anytime anyone says that food is good for your soul, that means it's guaranteed to give you a heart attack in 20 years. The calcium in cheese and phosphates in milk help, help put back minerals your teeth might have lost due to other foods. Like jelly beans that I eat every day. Heart attacks are good for your soul. I guess you could argue that, right? Yeah. If you die of a heart attack, it brings you closer to God. <laughs> I'm 17 and I'm constantly swinging between thinking I'm pretty okay and the stupidest and most worthless person in the world. Nah, no, just welcome to being 17 pretty much is what that is. You're, you're doing fine. You're doing fine, buddy. Don't worry about it. But do 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 do. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. No keys. All right. Yay! I found it. Finally. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Bear, can I get a? I'm like that. Well, it's about tree fitting. Madman! I think for. Thanks for the 350. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. We did it! What is happening? The of his faith have been restored. We got the bright tambourine. There was an EI fang fa at the end there, yeah. I had to make sure I got it accurate. I'm just reading what the message says. Y'all are acting like I'm losing my goddamn mind like a madman or something. I'm just doing what I'm told. 
Here I Frank for. Wow, that's a hell of a day for her. She's musical. That's fun. But also got the gray rot. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's really helpful, actually. The nocturnal sucks, of course. Lethargy, we gotta get rid of. Eh, not terrible, though. Got a good amount of money out of that with the tapestries. Take advantage of this. Yay! Charity. It will not last. That's very handy. All right. Oh. Got rid of Ansi as well. Very good. Let's go ahead and do some free stress relief, shall we? Not that we needed that much this time. Horse deer! Welcome back for nine months in a row. Thank you very much for the resubscription. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and uh, not come in on anybody else, I guess. That sucks. We do have to get rid of some disease, though. The gray rot. There we are. And how about unlocking more slots in the sanitarium, I suppose, for the medical ward? Let's do that. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mind. That's such a great line. Can we go back to Justin Bieber? Chat behaved much better. They were being surprisingly good in those moments, weren't they? All right, yeah, two cases of rabies here, too. All right, uh, let's see. Do we have another couple of people we want to pick up on this stage, Coach? I will go ahead and grab a second leper, actually. Let's do it. This man understands that adversity and hey, existence are one and the same. Mods, por favor. Enter into sub-only mode, please, and as I will reset this raffle and we will draw the new name. Sage Furios could use some stress relief. It's like, oh, yep, look at that. There you go. Indeed. Good co Oh, God damn it! of course. Of course. All right. Never mind, I guess. Exclaim raffle in the chat if you'd like to be considered for the newest member of the roster here. And as we are doing that, I'll go ahead and figure out what we're doing next. Rampart Shield is quite nice, but it's not worth 15,000 gold here. Let's see... Where shall we go? The cove is tempting. I always like getting ancestors relics and triggering a positive town event as a result. I think I will do that, actually. Let's go ahead and set up a leper squad for that. Ross, a brand new boy will head out there along with Arugula. Jester Sage Furios is going to recover his own stress for us. And then Kit Spindler. A level zero squad. The Double Leper. This is the Endless Composition, by the way. This is what we rocked in the farmstead that got us 146 kills. So while it may not look all that good, I promise you it is. We'll go ahead and get this going. And we will rename this Leper here. Ross. Da 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 da! Jacob! Jacob99. Congratulations, my friend. You are the newest member of the roster. Rigged! There we go. All right. Let's take him into the guild. Make sure we've got the right skills equipped for him. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Hue this time in place of Solemnity. I'm going to go ahead and allow my healers to do their jobs and give myself options for uh, clearing out multiple enemies if I need to. This is also a camp dungeon, so I'll take them to the survivalist real fast to make sure I've got at least... Ah! Goddamn that. Sorry. <laughs> got at least decent options for uh, recovery and healing here from these guys. And let's do the same with her, actually get her that accuracy and dodge buff. Good stuff. Jester actually has uh, guild options to work with as well here, doesn't he? No, he's already been upgraded. Okay, so we're good to go there. You need Hugh, you also need Hugh, and you'll take uh, maybe revenge. Yeah, I like the revenge buff as well. We'll take that. And how about, how about intimidate? And we'll give one Intimidate and we'll give one Purge. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to work out, actually. Never mind. So I got to give them probably Withstand. Or no, I suppose these four are probably okay, too. If I did this, that would work out pretty well. I'm okay with Solemnity. I suppose Withstand is better, but it's not necessary. I could give one of them Purge. I think I will give one of them Purge, but then I'm depending on that one to be in the front, I suppose. Which isn't really terrible. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need it. We'll keep the same four on both of them, I suppose. That's fine. That'll do. And then Jester Buddy. He's going to be in spot three. Uh, we're going to the cove, right? I'm pretty sure we're going to the cove, so we're not going to be bleeding. 
with these guys. Yeah, so then let's take these off and go for solo finale build, even though I'll, I doubt I'll actually get opportunities to use it. Let's actually go ahead and... Nah, you know, I'll use solo. I'll use solo, just in case. Actually, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mostly need finale. But... Well, I don't know. I could take this off and have slice off in case I need, like, a little bit more damage and I don't want to move him forward. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give that a try, I guess. And, uh, he's set. I'm finally gonna have his bright tamarine as well, so that feels good. Guild real quick. Oh, wait, no, we've already done that. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're all set. We're all set. It's time for trinkets, right? So, berserk masks, of course. Gotta give one to each. It's gonna lower their healing, healing received, but it doesn't matter g given the benefits that they get from it. Dismiss's head and the Ancestor's Candle seem like very good options for them as well, so we'll go ahead and do that. Bright Tambourine coupled with the... Uh, sun Ring, maybe? Bloodthirst Ring. Let's do that instead. And then the Vestal. Give her the... Uh, we'll go defensive with her, I guess. Well, actually, hold on. Let me do this. Sun Ring on my Jester for that extra little bit of damage, and then... Double Tambourine meta. I kind of wanted to do it, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And I think I'm going to give her the Camouflage Cloak. Well, you know what? That doesn't make a lot of sense either. So how about we just do this? We'll give the Vestal some extra damage for fun. That adds stress to her, but it doesn't really matter. Well, no. Let's do this instead. That's smarter. That's smarter. I know it is. And then we'll do that, and that's good too. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. I like it. This is a solid squad. I think they're going to do just fine. Let's head to the cove. Plenty of money again now, and we also get three herbs to start off with, which is fucking phenomenal for this place. I'll actually go ahead and give myself a full stack of those and see if maybe I can take advantage of that. Uh, two of those. Not quite two of those, actually. We go for that much. And don't need blood just yet. I think we are ready for action. Let's go. Friend is coming over and need to act like humans soon. Any tips? Uh, clean yourself. Just wash your face a bit. Maybe take a shower if you feel like it. Recover these lost shipments of rarities, that we may prevent them from falling into even less scrupulous hands. Drink water. Gotta stay hydrated. Absolutely. That's priority number one. In fact, I'm gonna do so myself. Mm. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. That is a hell of a starting uh, fish. Also, that's quite nice. Don't let them know you're an alien. Pretty important. Wow. That's convenient. How about we find the second one right here? Nope. Alright, I'll go this way anyway, though. A little more experience for the crew. Try not saying I'm definitely a human. I don't think they'll catch on if you say that, honestly. I'm pretty sure you'll be good to go with that. I didn't see anything in the hallway, by the way. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not a good start. Yikes. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's just murder them. Annihilated. Yeah, that's fine. Don't push me. Don't push me. Good. Now, stress healing. Yay! That's gonna be easy. They don't deal too much. I think I'll be able to manage this pretty well. Uh, let's do a hue here. Try to clear out the corpse a little bit. Or entirely. That also works. Oh, I need to change her skills. I'm an idiot. Whoops. I have not heard Wayne June's Be Gone thought yet. No. Hold on. I'll click this. This is a pretty high priority. Hold on. Is it going to load for me? I need to hear it. I need to hear it. Be gone, fat. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's really good. Okay, yeah, I'm glad we did that. Thank you for the link. <laughs> okay, so we will change her skills after this fight. Gotta get out of that judgment and that uh, group heal, of course. I think it's probably best that I attempt the kill. But the hue, of course, the double hue is gonna be quite nice, too. Fuck! No! But at least I can still hue now. Okay. Just don't let them attack first is what I was going to say. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, that's fine. 
That's fine. There it is! That's the good stuff. Another stress heal, please. Bam. Taking care of business. And let's not do that. Let's do that. Yes, sir. Big money! Oh! Is broken. Maintain the offense. Hughes all day! Cataron, welcome back in. Good to have you. Thanks for joining us. I am going to Solemnity here. I've got a perfect opportunity to try to stress heal a little bit just at the end of this one. Well struck. Very nice. Good stun there. I might still be able to ch super cheese this, actually. I think they'll give me one round here with the Pelagic Guardian. I truly believe it. So let's give it a try. Right? Nice. Abusing the system, baby. Hell yeah. One more heal? Dare I do it? I think I dare. And let's kill him. Nice! Give them no quarter. That feels good. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Hell yeah. Alright. So first of all. Gotta assume we're getting shuffled. We put the jester up front. No matter what happens to him, he's gonna be put in a position where we can make something happen. Actually, you know what? Let's try to have him in spot two, and then hopefully he'll be able to get to his spot three or four. Vestal being there is probably okay. I gotta make sure I change her skills again. Oh, she doesn't have anything else unlocked. Shit. I should have gone to the guild with her. Darn it. That was dumb. Oh, well. Oh, well. No need for light, of course. Everyone's pretty much topped off, but I might as well give him the final little bit. Let's do it. Behold the There's the shuffle. Of the stars. Okay, so... It's not too bad. Obviously managed to get at least one of the lepers up front. I can revenge with him, I believe, in that back spot, so at least he's got that option there. And then I'll probably go ahead and move the Vestal back both times before I need to heal. Uh, revenge is probably not a bad choice here, but taking this damage also seems wise. Especially when it's for 13, that feels pretty freaking good. Alright, there we go. Now if we just finale... Alright, and he might shuffle us too, I gotta consider that. I do have bandages here if I want to use them. Finale into... Be gone, fiend. Move back from the Vestal, hopefully. That's what I'm anticipating is going to happen first. Damn it! Games of Wrath! Thank you for the 300 bits! Welcome on back in, buddy. Thank you for the support. Alright, so we don't have a group heal here, unfortunately, which means I might want to be a little bit more aggressive. Stun chance is very low. In fact, basically non-existent. I don't really need to do anything else, though, so I think I might just add that one point of damage. Her bleed's not that bad. Maybe we should try to stay ahead of the healing, though. Let's just do this. She's not contributing that much anyway. Hugh seems good. Welcome to the bear pile. Silenti rent! Nope. Silent tyrant is how you say that one. I keep reading it in Moobot, which does not properly capitalize things. Properly capitalize. I'm doing great with these sentences. Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate your support. It means a great deal to me. Walked away to make a sandwich and come back to a shambler. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Words are hard. Words are tough. Hugh, please. Nope. All right. Suit yourself. Please don't shuffle me. Okay. That sets up the hue pretty well. I'm just going to deal with that clapper claw, I guess. Which is getting stronger and stronger, of course. He is a menace. Ouch. Oh, God. The stress check is coming. It's coming fast. Small heal. I just need to hue. How's that bleed? Not too bad. Certainly a lot easier to deal with than the other one. Another abomination. Cleansed from our land. Time to chop. 
with revenge buff. There we go. Here we go, Jester. Here we go. Stack a battle ballot, perhaps. I'm not getting out of this shit. He's going to have a stress check, I'm sure. Here we go, Virtue. The end approaches. I see goodness on the horizon, and it's not in the form of the Jester. <laughs> Ow! Injury. Oh, it hurts. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Oh, goodness. Owie. Oh, that bleed. Wow. Wow, that's painful. I need to heal. Oh, it's not stopping. No, come on. Library lad. Thank you for the biddies. Just take the fucking herb. Okay. I gotta help. No bleed. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. The little penguin. Powerful bits for virtue. Anger is power. Unleash it. There we go. Ouch. Just terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Oh, God. Oh, no. Come on, Jacob. Yeah. Fear and frailty. Finally claim their due. I was not expecting this to go so horribly wrong. No, my jester. Mayo maniac. Another hundred biddies. Thank you so much. Oh, the pain. The humiliation. Lucy. 14 months in a row on the pile. Thank you so much. Oh, they keep doing it. No, no. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Ling Lord. Oh, please. No. Injury. Palpable fear. Oh, God. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I think it's too little, too late. Maybe here. Yeah, they're gone. Wow. To the very Ling Lord. Break. Gifted a sub. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, if only I had the group heal. If only. Holy shit. Um, help him? I guess he's the best choice. Oh, man. Welcome to the very Doc! Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome to the pile. Oh my god. Crit kill! Yes! Space between worlds is no place oh. for mortal men. They survive! The torchlight can be brought back! The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to- You are still it. with us, friend! Come on, baby! Arugula! Oh my god. No. For the weak or foolhardy. Lude name here. Welcome. Or sorry, thank you for the bits, I should say. Thank you, thank you for the support. Oh, there's they're passing their fucking turns. They're passing their fucking turns, man. And I can't even hit this guy for damage. But a stun maybe. A stun will do it. Okay. Oh god. He's dead. He's got to be gone, right? And now the true test. He's got to be gone. Oh, oh god. Oh, wow. Wow. I can't heal from back here. I've got to I'm not going to do that. It might deal one. Nope. Oh my god. No, please. Oh, 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 oh god No bleed, no bleed, no bleed, no bleed. Yes. A hand from 
becoming unwound. The heart attack, though. Can I just run? Please? A wise general. No, he's dead. And regroups. Oh. Oh, man. I got two trinkets. I lost my candle. Oh, no. That didn't go well. Solo Vestal run. Yeah, here we go. We just got to get right back through this shambler real quick. They no take candle. Ah. Ah. Well, hold on a second. I might as well camp out, I guess. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. <laughs> Rats in a maze. A delicious feast for the Vestal! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Blood Rush! A force of will can overcome a failing body. Huddled together. Fervent and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Oh well. She did her best. Consume water! Oh. I got it. I got it. All right. We're out of here. Regroup. Reassemble. Evil, Evil is, is timeless. timeless. After all. After all. Oh, God. Who would have thought a team of level zeros wouldn't be able to handle a shambler? Curiosity, interest, and obsession. Mile markers on my road to damnation. Well, sorry to Jacob, Arugula, and Sage. You know I didn't mean to do it to you, but all the same, it's been done. And the week, unfortunately, does not pass by in the hamlet either. That, uh, that results in a failure on our part, so... We gotta get back into it, man. Alright. I suppose we could go attempt to gather those relics again. Certainly still an option. Hold on a second. Those the first deaths? I believe they are. Yeah, I believe those are our first. Nope, just kidding. The Musketeer and the Vestal from prior. Oh, yeah. And during week one. <laughs> Wait, what? No, not week one. Why does it say week one? What the hell? I don't know what that... I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, we obviously just lost those guys just now. I know, if only the Vestal had been able to deal one goddamn damage, we would have been... We would have been saved, for real. Oh well. Okay, so, let's go ahead and set up a team here and get back into the cove and figure that shit out. Let's do a shield breaker up front, that seems like a very good choice, and then... A generous SAMSONITE! Chin up, bear, the game hasn't beaten you yet. Well, that'll certainly make me feel better. Thank you, Samsonite, for the $50 tip. My goodness. Much appreciated. Please get some love up in the chat for Samsonite. Thank you. Thank you for that support. That is tremendous. Wow. All right. Well, have I learned my lesson? Clearly not. But this is a decent team all the same. Antiquarian Healer is going to have to be the thing. And then we've got the Arbalist to boot, of course. I think it'll be okay. We've got defense in the form of the Shield Breaker. I'm willing to give it a try. They're pretty high level, too. Let's try it out. Fuck it. Full antiquarian team. Why are we even stalling here, huh? Why not just commit? So that's what three lives are worth these days. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much got the direct conversion. Library lad. Got the 300 bits. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, then. Let's take these guys into the guild slash blacksmith and see what we can do. You obviously need a big boost. I'm going to go ahead and sell a few trinkets as well. I know I've got to make some money here, so let's get rid of the protection stone. The uh, stun charm, critical stone, bleed stone, and uh, let's get rid of, I don't know. All these are decent enough, I guess, to keep for now. Those are worth a good amount, but got to keep them for now. Okay, so that'll do. They're all set. Grave Robber will take a little bit of extra damage, as will the Shield Breaker. Guild. Big upgrades here. I got to take the Impale Boost. 
get that blight chance and then uh let's go with two blocks three speed i don't know if that's necessarily worth it i want the blight bonuses but that unfortunately does not add more damage she's gonna be in spot two for this composition right yeah it's aquarians and they're in spot three everything is indeed okay library lad thank you for the biddies man enjoy your baseball emotes baseball emotes that'll bring the wrath of europeans football emotes sorry Sorry, I'm in Super Mega Baseball 2 mode. Let's get her Battle Heal boosted. It's clearly a good choice. And then I think I'd like to take some buffs across the board for her. Blind Fire, Sniper Shot, Antiquarian's all set to go. Let's do Shadow Fade? No, it's not all that great. That'll be pretty good. I'll take the Lunge buff. And then, I guess this is worth it? No, it's not. Um, I'll do Throne Daggers. A little bit more accuracy. I am low on money now, though. Oh my god, yeah. I think it's time to maybe just call it good with that. Sell one more trinket, probably. Let's sell the... I could sell the Camper's Helmet. I rarely get value out of that. Not to mention the Book of Rage is never going to be equipped. So there's that. Great. Okay, cool. A little bit more cash. Let's do this thing. First of all, set the trinkets up. I'm going to give Dismas's head to the damage dealer, who is the grave robber. There you go. Lewd name here. Could you please give your opinion on the Crusader sword from the farmstead shop? Let's have a look at it real quick. Crusader sword, the dirge, right? No, the non-Euclidean hilt. More max health. Add stun chance with holy water. On attack, hit blight. That is really good. No wonder it costs 200. Random target 5%. That's a trade-off you make for that 100%. That's so good. Holy shit, that's good. Anything that applies an on-hit effect, I think, is going to be highly coveted. Blight skill chance is awesome, actually. Let's go ahead and give her that shield, break shield breaker trinket. And then I'll also give her... Hmm... Uh, camouflage cloak, actually, might not be a bad idea. But let's give her the recovery charm just to help her out with the Antiquarian and the Battlefield Bandage, too. And then more damage versus blighted targets is certainly helpful this time. Let's give the Antiquarian the Book of Relaxation, I suppose, to add to her. Actually, no, that doesn't really help her at all. Let's give her the Camouflage Cloak to help her out that way. Oh, wait, no, she's going to be protected the entire time. So let's give that to the Arbalist. And let's give the Antiquarian the Bloodthirst Ring and the Bloodied Fetish, I suppose. No, 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 let's give that to the Arbalist, too, actually. Give her the more defensive measures and give the Antiquarian something like, um, hmm... Well, really nothing, I guess, right? Yeah, nothing really works, so that's fine. Don't have to give her something. Maybe we'll find something in the dungeon. We got her Protect Me, her Heal, her Festering Vapors, and her Nervous Stab, which is perfect. We got all this stuff for the Antiquary, or for the uh, Arbalist, which is all set to go. Lunge in case I need it. Shadow Fade for the same reason. And then Poison... Oh, Poison Darts can be used in spot two. Good. Okay, well, in that case, I am going to upgrade it then for the extra 600 gold. That's totally worth it. Bam and bam. There we are. Very nice. Good. Good, good, good. And then Shield Breaker will use Impale and uh, let's go with Captivate, Serpent Sway, Impale, and Pierce. No, no, no. Let's use Adder's Kiss, actually, and then we can have her shift around a bit. Right? Yeah, that's probably for the best. All right, good. Good, good, good. I like it. She's all set with a pick to the face up front and the Shadow Fade for the Shuffling. Antiquarian, actually, you know what? Let's give her Get Down this time. Probably even in place of Nervous Stab, actually. I want to give her the option to get back whenever she needs to. And the uh, Arbalist, I think, will probably be able to stay in her position without too much effort. So there we go. I do have 60 crystals. Yeah, I've gotten those from the uh, traveling boss from the thing from the stars. All right, let's do it. I think we'll be able to handle this. It's obviously going to be a bit tougher given the uh, lack of proper healing, but... I think we'll manage. I'm going to do two shovels, a full stack of torches, a couple of more bandages here. Let's prioritize that which we know we need, which I think we've basically handled already. And in that case, let's go with like one more shovel. One more bandage, maybe, because we will need some way to deal with that. And one more torch. Perfect. Almost bankrupt yet again. Hey, Dragory, how are you? Let's do it. Let's go. Recover these lost shipments of rarities that we may prevent them from falling into even less scrupulous hands. Quest location right away. That is awesome. Let's do it. 
Broke. Flat broke. Straight up. Gotta remember the antiquarian here, so we gotta fix that, ideally. We make ourselves some cash this time, and hey, looky there. Nice. I have two kinds of healers. I guess technically I do. Not really. I've got desperation healers is what I've got. I eh, don't have the anti-venom. I'll try it though. Sick. And you got 80, 110, 60, and 70. Definitely go for it. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is a long hallway. Keep it going. Stack that up. I'm gonna actually give myself the opportunity to dis disarm the trap here for the small amount of grave robber stress relief. Very nice. Easy going so far. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Save up shards for the man at arms trinket. Super good. Reflects damage back at foes. Holy shit. I am very excited for a lot of those shard trinkets. They look really nice. Curio, no quest location, unfortunately. We do have herbs for this interaction. Might as well. That's pretty good. Probably end up dumping these two off pretty quickly along with that, actually. So yeah, that's easy. Easy inventory management there. Oh boy, come on now. No curse! Nice. They've got pretty high odds to apply it here, though. Oh, I gotta remember she's got less accuracy, too. I gotta keep that in mind. Ooh, an impale is gonna be beautiful here. Let's go ahead and do it. Nice. Good stuff. Try to get a kill. He's got some protection. Very, very good. Festering Vapors is certainly a or not a bad choice here. Oh, I didn't equip Get Down. I gotta do that. I gotta swap off my stab. Shit. That stinks. Welcome Lime Low! Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Limeo! That's that name. Welcome to the pile, Limeo. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, please. Bear hugs, por favor, for the newest member. I appreciate that support. Thank you very much. Eep. Alright, I gotta heal her a little bit. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Uh, let's do this. Obliterated. Nice. Antiquarian and Battlefield Bandage, ideally. Hopefully in that inverse order, but sadly not. Uh, which means maybe we do this just to guarantee the kill. Thank you, Limeo. I appreciate that a lot. It's very kind. Wow, she's healing for five. Thank you, Recovery Charm. Really, that's actually quite good. As the fiend falls, a faint hope that is some decent healing just by itself. Like, I'm not too worried about it anymore. For the Shield Breaker, at least. Slightly tougher fight. Starting with an Impale always feels good, though. Alright. Oh, thank you. I, I've, again, I've got no way to deal with that, obviously, so I am... Going to be very thankful for any stress wave that doesn't land its target. Nice! Antiquarian hit landing that protects me is pretty important, too, because... Like, luckily, that was not too much damage, but anything beyond that could be very, very detrimental. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and pop this here. I forgot to toss on get down again, but I'll just do that next... ...option I've got, or next opportunity I've got. Hey, Big Snake, how you doing? Serpent Sway? Nah, I think I've got the damage here. Let's just clear him out. So that's one. I only need nine. There we go. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Right there, right there, buddy. You got it. Ah, shit. Okay, I will heal here. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. And I might as well finish you off. Damn it! Yeah, Candle of Life actually does end up making a pretty big difference for late game, for sure. Like, champion level Antiquarian with Candle of Life is not, it's not terrible. Like, it is usable. Dragory turn! Dragory, welcome into the pile, my friend. Thank you for subscribing with, uh, money. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I get so used to saying the Twitch Prime thing these days, but thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Enjoy your badge and emotes, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food here. 
Bam. There we go. And we gotta clear out one more slot, don't we? Okay, so how about... That's probably worth less than that. There we go. And not a... Uh, not a quest item, but again, I'm willing to take the chance here. Holy shit! That's nice! Ugh! Glad you feel that way, Mayo Maniac. May we find victory. Tell you what, let's just kill one of these guys straight out. Get the numbers advantage and hopefully be able to pick to the face of the other. Actually, oh my god, this team is so good for the Cove, I just realized. This is like the ultimate Cove squad, at least these frontliners are, because they just massacre the Pelagic Guardian. With impunity. You get that straight up damage. Just got three one shot kills, too. That feels awesome. I think I might try to heal that, actually. Nah, let's just kill him. Ooh, come on! Nice. I will take a heal if I get the chance, but I'll do the damage otherwise. There we go. No need. Good shit. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Still got plenty of food, and obviously with the bloodthirst ring, that won't really be a problem. I'm gonna actually go ahead and let the torchlight go down and try to use the campfire to try to preserve it a little bit longer than it'll go at this rate. Bear, you've been an inspiration for several years of my life and just begun the tenebrous journey of Darkest Dungeon. Figured it only appropriate that I contribute to the man who introduced me to the game. Well, thank you, man. Good tidings to you. Good fortunes in your endeavors. I forgot the skill again. I forgot it again. Got it. I forgot to get down. I forgot to get down. Forgot the goddamn get down. Hey, look at that, though. Nice. And he's dead. Holy shit. That's a hell of a start. I'll use the nervous stab here to make it worthwhile to have had it once. Beyond that, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ooh, yeah. Here it is. Worth! Worth it! And can't reach him, but I'll shadow fade. And then maybe lunge. Ooh. Lunge next turn. Let me have it. Let me have it. Come on. Nice! 36 fucking damage. Holy shit. Okay, I do want those deeds. Let's clear off um, the crests, I guess. It's probably less valuable. And then pop that. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay, then we'll, once we get in here, we'll go ahead and let the torchlight run all the way probably up to like this point. And then, then we'll end up camp campfiring to uh, prolong the light. Only three torches. Hopefully we're going to be able to save them for the end. Unfortunately, we don't have sun rings and ancestors' candles anymore to consider, so that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, the skill. I almost forgot again. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Thanks, chat. Appreciate it. Where would I be without you? Get down, Mr. President! He shouldn't... I should name an antiquarian Mr. President. Yeah, that would work really well. But then I'd sacrifice a sub name. Can't do that. Can't do that. Never. Impale! Even if it just lands the blight on that guy, it's so good. Even though I'm just going to kill him. Be gone, fiend. It's the very good start to the turn here. And it is indeed going to be time to heal. That's too much damage. Way too much. Way too much. Gah! Sorry. I got to go for the nat kills when I can. It's compulsive. Bandage, please. Thank you. Be gone, thought. Pierce for the stress kill. There we go. What if you had a sub named Mr. President? Well, that would certainly solve our problem, wouldn't it? And, uh, can I get the kill? Two plus that plus... No, that's not enough. Let's just do that. Slightly better. Nice. This is on darkest difficulty. I think I've already proven my mettle in the Stygian. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I just literally said how underconfident I am of myself, Wayne. You give me a little credit there. Oh, goodness! This is a story you can't steal from the store! Impressive. Swear to God I heard him say that. Big stab, big crit. Okay. 
damn it. All right, not too bad. I still do need to heal a little bit, actually. Does she have the healing received buff? She does. Wow. Okay. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. I could kill the madman here with the Arbalist. That's probably the smarter move, actually. Then I can heal her next turn. Even though she doesn't have the healing received buff, that's okay. Would much rather have the numbers advantage plus the removal of stress causes. And let's kill him. Hey, Bear, did I ever tell you about the once time I beat DD on Radiant Mode in only six weeks? Wow. Nice. It's impressive. How the hell did you do that? Isn't the, isn't the record like 20 weeks or something like that? That sounds actually impossible. So I'd like to learn how you did it. All right, still, still need to heal basically with everybody I can this time. Let's just try to finish him off in a slow way. Never mind. Now he is going to die. Let's just do this to kill time, I guess. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Four of the people I follow are streaming Darkest Dungeon right now, and I want to watch all of them. It's a good time to be playing this game, man. Ooh, look at this. That's a handy trinket to find. Yay. Oh, I should have looked at those boots at least, but oh well. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh, you're talking about six actual weeks, not six weeks in the game. Okay, that was that was very confusing. My bad. That seems much more manageable. Uh, how about we just get rid of that and keep going? And don't use torches until we absolutely get to the end of the light. I should have probably used a shovel on that, but I'm kind of worried I might need him for the end here. I used the grave robber. What the shit? Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. That's not what I did. That's no foul. Here we go. Okay. It's at least useful. Might be a quest location. Indeed it is. So then we might just camp out here just to make the space for the quest item. Waiting to be spent. Actually seems like a good choice. In fact, let's just dump this herb, take that, dump those, and then camp out right here. It was due to a bug. After I finished week 5, the game crashed when I hit the return to town button. When I booted the save file up, the game handed me the entry level and in such haste achievements. Wow. Oh. Well, congratulations then. Yeah, you did do it in six weeks. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Well played. Rats in a maze. Okay. Um, I think I will go ahead and give her the big buffs. Can restring crossbow as well, though. So that's pretty good. Let's try this. That's not bad. Don't need to stress heal. She doesn't have any disease. She could snuff box the uh, antiquarian, or not the antiquarian, the uh, the arbalist, if she wanted to. You know what? Let's do that. Fuck it. Cure the rabies, why not? And then... I think I'll take this... Uh, I want this buff. I think I want the snake skin more than I want the armor piercing for everybody else. And then we'll just do a resupply here. Shovel! Cool. Okay. Now we gotta fight the enemies. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. There's two of them this time. Holy shit. Okay. There will be no rest by the fire tonight. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I'm aware. So obviously impaling these boys is very effective. Does activate the repost, unfortunately, but uh, I think that will indeed be our play. Please protect. Most importantly, she protect. Ooh, hold the phone here. Armor piercing. Not worth. Let's shadow fade. And then the Arbalist should go for a blind fire, probably. Nice resistance, at least. Because a blind fire has a chance... Actually, no, I think even if I go blind fire, those guys will protect, so it's probably not worth it. Maybe a battlefield bandage here. Oh, a bola would work. Right, yeah, they're still going to block it, I forgot. Okay, let's just try to kill one of these guys then, I guess. Beautiful. Takes away uh, the impale again, but... 
I think that's probably worth it. That's a very good dodge. I think I'll just Serpent Sway here, I guess. Maybe try to pierce this guy. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Let's just try to keep her alive. It's a little dangerous. Miss it. Okay. More fucking Blight. Oh my god. Nice. Okay, well. My goodness. At least they're exposed now, so I can do a little bit more damage to them. Let's go ahead and try to hit the back line, I guess. Um, I think doing this is smartest. And then I will have Impale next turn. Although I'm not actually sure if it's the best choice. He's gonna be guarded no matter what, so I guess pick the face then. God damn, that sucks. It's a big old bummer. Okay. Um. Hmm. Adder's Kiss would add to the Blight. 9 plus 3 plus 1 is 13, so it's not enough. Pierce, 7 to 13. Let's try for the crit, I guess. Let's block the hit. Man. Yeah, without background music, it's especially intimidating, and I really like that about this fight. Thankfully, didn't choose her again. Still gonna be tough. Okay, good. They're no longer retaliating, thankfully. Uh, let's just do this. That's still not gonna be enough damage, even if it's a blight there. That blind fire's fine. Oh my fucking god, really? Alright, at least it's a speed buff, but it's still not enough to be faster than them, I don't think. There's the check. Selfish. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. Bummer. Do we get the action first? We do. All right, we killed them. At least there's that. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Such exquisiteness must be admired, they say. And so I am made to dance for their desperate, dust-pitted faces, for their watery, bloodshot eyes, their cracked, grinning lips. I am not a person to this debauched audience. I am an exotic wonder. I am a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing indeed. A shimmering scale! Ten percent protection. We'll take it. We'll take it, baby. We'll give you some food, too, to feel a little better about things. Grab those, use an anti-venom, and recovery charm in the slot. Right there, right? I'm gonna have to dump off something anyway, so I think I'll get rid of the keys and we'll get rid of the, uh, well, you just use the Aegis Scales, I guess. Actually, those are probably better to take home, aren't they? Fuck it, I've already done it. I need the space. Keep the keys. Just kidding, we're gonna dump one off immediately. Do I need the shovels anymore, maybe? You know what? Let's take a chance. Take a small, small chance. Yeah, I know the scales are pretty damn useful. I just made a commitment that I shouldn't have already there, though, unfortunately. Die. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Okay. Stun? No, right, yeah, Shadow Fate doesn't do that anymore. Balls. Alright. Bull uh no, I think blind fire is better. Now, hopefully, the Blight will take care of him. I would have looked much better doing that, she says. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, chance, chance. Those shovels ain't coming with. No, sir, those shovels are dumped. Gonzo. Come on, give me the space. There we go. Nice. Success so clearly in view. Hey, all right. Trick of the light. Fantastic. Let's get rid of those bandages now, I guess. There's our quest. Let's see if we can make a little more cash here. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Let's see if we can make a little more cash here. Just kidding. Let's get a spasm of the entrails. That's a better idea. Welcome back, Ink. All right, I'll get greedy. Suit yourself, game. Put me in this position. I shall take advantage. Thank you. 
Worth. Worth it. Worth it no matter what. Oh, is it gonna be worth it still? Let's find out. Work on him first. Just being able to do straight up damage to him feels so damn good. I want the crits from the Impale at some point too. One of these days. Oh, don't worry, buddy. She's already feeling bad about herself. Squid punishment! Okay, okay then. How about the festering vapors on our good friend, the Pelagic Grouper? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dodge. Shit. You naughty. So tell you what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let him blight out. Let's go for the sniper shot there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he's gonna miss his attack. It's an this against the... Nope, just kidding. That'll work. Alright. Pick to the face, please. Hey, there we go. Do, 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 do. Pass his turn. Alright, then. Oh, she's gonna need a heal. Luckily resisted that bleed, but yeah, I am gonna go ahead and toss a heal her away. Thankfully, he's gonna miss! Ah, shit. And let's go like bam. Nice. And let's do this. Bada bing, bada boom. Sweet. Okay, he's dead. He's on his way. Very likely to die from a spear from the uh, shield breaker, so let's try to set that up. Or this. Also acceptable. Another heal. Hooray. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good shit. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Cove music is your favorite? I also dig it. The light. The promise of safety. Alright, you know we gotta push it. One last haul. One last haul for a room battle. Let's do it. That's all the light we've got. Got a little bit of extra food here, actually. Let's go ahead and take that right now. Fill everybody up, because we only need three to actually handle the activation. Here we are. Na, 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 na. Of course. <laughs> Naturally. No herbs here either, unfortunately. We'll give it a shot, though. Alright, that's helpful. You're my favorite too, Chill Reeve. Thanks for being here. Thanks for modding. Oh, don't curse me. Don't punish me. I don't ever deserve to be punished. Okay. They're 0 for 1. Let's see. Uh... Definitely do that. You really think so, huh? Vampy time, boys. No, no, sir. Not today. Not happening. Just a little bit of extra stress to deal with. No big deal. No problem. And then a uh, sniper shot will do it. Nice. Nice. Pick the face. Bombing run. Not bad. I can handle that. I can completely handle that. It's a bit of damage, but at least it's no curse. Ah! Uh. Oh, okay. That's acceptable, I suppose. Go for her. Go for her, I said! Nice! Nailed it. Picked up Lobotomy Corp game neck mentioned on the round table yesterday. I just lost my entire staff to a sentient speaker system. Man, this is really sounding like a game I need to play. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Stress relief? Purely decorative. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go. No vampy time, boys. Oh, man. Uh, stretch it out! Uh. Oh, I oh, nearly just passed out. <laughs> Woo. All right. 
Ooh, got quick reflexes there too. Nice. A finely crafted instrument of butchery and bloodshed. Yours for the taking. A free weapon upgrade, you say? Ooh, hoo, hoo, baby. We'll take that. We'll take that. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and give that to, uh... We'll give that to Cat. That sounds like a... A fine... Fine, fine recipient for that upgrade. Favorite part of the new DLC? Definitely the, uh, Endless mode. I'm very much looking forward to playing that more as we, uh... Get deeper into the game. Mad Cats, how you doing? Welcome. Okay. Let's go ahead and address a few ailments real fast. Let's, uh... Put Sir Pickle Chips in there to rid himself of Spasm of the Entrails here. I don't think we actually need too much stress recovery apart from the uh, Shield Breaker, so that's nice. Get rid of the Hemophilia as well. Joe Farrar gets to be committed. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Okay, what week am I on now? I believe I'm on week 24. Yeah, week 24. Okay. Cool. I think... I think that's going to do it for today, everybody. As I just mentioned, I just nearly passed out after stretching, so I think maybe I ought to eat something. <laughs> I think maybe I ought to prioritize my own health for a second here, so that I think is going to signify the, uh, the conclusion of the stream today. But thank you so much, of course, everybody, for hanging out with me tonight. I certainly do appreciate your time for both Spelunky Saturday and the Color of Malfness here today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Mayo Maniac! Thank you for the 400 biddies. Thank you all for the support, the bits, the tips, the subs. Thank you, thank you so much for the love today. I certainly appreciate you being here. Of course, all the VOD from this is going to be up over on YouTube.com slash BearTaffy as well, so feel free to uh, check that out over there if you'd like. If you missed any part of the stream action today, I believe they're going with uh, Movie Night right now, so I'm just looking to make sure that's where I'm going to be sending the uh, Raid Love off. Uh, are they not doing it today? I thought they were, but maybe not. No? Doesn't look like it. I don't see him live. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll send it over to Last Grey Wolf then. Yep, that's what we'll do. Ray Last Grey Wolf. There we go. Prior to that, though, of course, big thank you to, to uh, my sponsors for the streams here. It would be uh, Madrina's Coffee. Every single stream is sponsored by Madrina's Coffee. Go to madrinascoffee.com slash shop, or madrinascoffee.com slash bear taffy, rather. Use the code bear coffee for 40% off. As well as my new sponsor, BetterHelp. Exclamation point help in chat. If you're looking for convenient, affordable therapy, better help. Something I use myself and continue to use regularly has been an excellent balancing factor in my life, and I highly recommend it. So if you've ever considered online therapy or counseling, of course, better help is a great choice there. Use the link uh, provided by Moobot and help me out too. Let's send some raid love off to Last Grey Wolf. He is playing some Dark Souls, some Bark Souls for Doggo. Fill chat with Roo 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 Roo, roo for me, please. As you send the raid love off over to Last Grey Wolf, my boy Austin, playing some Dark Souls. I love him. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate your time. I'll see you more than likely Monday for more Color of Madness. Goodbye. <laughs>